Archaeologists digging in a Viking cave in Iceland have discovered rare artifacts from Iraq in a huge stone boat. They say the stone boat was used to burn animals to strengthen a god that had to fight to save the world. Here are the details. Archaeologists were surprised to find artifacts from as far away as Iraq and Turkey while digging in an ancient Viking site in Iceland. Located in the Sertschelir cave, the ancient site is located in a lava pipe of a volcano that erupted almost 1,100 years ago. At the time of that eruption, the Vikings had recently colonized Iceland. In a study published in the Journal of Archaeological Science, researchers theorized that the effects of this cataclysmic eruption must have been deeply unsettling for the Vikings. They say that, after the lava cooled, the Vikings entered the cave and constructed a boat-shaped structure out of rocks. Within this structure, the Vikings burned animal bones at high temperatures as a sacrifice. This may have been done to appease Surtur, a giant who Vikings believed would kill the last of the gods in the Battle of Ragnarok and then engulf the world in flames. Another possibility is that the burnt offerings were meant to strengthen Freyr, a Viking fertility god, in the hopes that he could defeat Surtur and stop the fiery end of the world. Yep, the Vikings sure had some dark ideas floating around in those heads of theirs. Thank goodness we live at a time when we don't have to burn stuff in dark caves to feed imaginary giants, just so they won't burn us and our world. If you like learning about the crazy things humans did before the Age of Enlightenment, here's some more videos about ancient cultures. Elongated xenomorph-like skulls have been discovered in an ancient tomb in China. According to research published in the American Journal of Physical Anthropology, scientists unearthed 25 skeletons at the Ho Tao Muga site in northeastern China. Eleven of the skulls have been intentionally modified. The brain cases were elongated, and flattened bones were found at the front and back of the head. The 11 modified skulls date back to between 12,000 to 5,000 years ago. They belong to five adults, four men and one woman, and six children. The practice of artificial cranial deformation is typically done in infancy, when the baby's skull is still soft and malleable. The head can either be compressed using hands, wrapped tightly with cloth, or shaped using boards. According to Science Alert, it has no negative impact on cognitive function. Researchers say the practice of skull reshaping was a marker of social status and may have been reserved for high-status individuals. In one tomb, a three-year-old with an elongated skull was found buried with large amounts of pottery and artifacts, suggesting the child was from a rich family. Intentionally modified skulls have previously been found in other parts of the world, in southeastern Australia and Western Asia. To know more about the ancient practice, scientists say more research will need to be conducted to compare a hotel Muga with other Neolithic sites around the world. Modern historians have doubted the existence of a massive skull display that 16th-century Spanish conquistadors claim to have seen in the ancient city of Tenochtitlan. Until now. Researchers have uncovered a vast collection of human skulls beneath modern Mexico City, in an area that was once the epicenter of the Aztec Empire. In 2015, the team discovered and began excavating the remains of the Tompatli, an enormous rack of skulls in front of the Templo Mayor, which is flanked by two towers of skull and mortar. Both are believed to be part of human sacrifice rituals. After taking out the tribute's beating heart, priests decapitate the body, reduce it to a skull, and carve holes into the side to mount the skulls on wooden poles. The Mexicans perform the ritual as an offering to the gods and believe doing so would ensure the continued existence of their civilization. 75% of the skulls found at the site belong to warriors, men aged 20 to 35. But 20% were found to be from women and 5% were of children. Researchers have taken DNA samples from the excavated skulls, which they hope can provide more insight into the grisly ritual and its victims. Mexican archaeologists have excavated more sections of the Aztec Tower of Skulls in the heart of Mexico City and found an additional 119 skulls. Here is what we know about this enormous rack of human skulls which struck fear into Spanish conquistadors when they captured the city. The Mexica, rulers of the Aztec Empire, performed human sacrifice as an offering to the gods. They believed doing so would ensure the continued existence of the universe. The rituals may also have helped control subjugated populations. The Mexica settled in the basin of Mexico and built their capital, Tenochtitlan, on an island in Lake Texcoco. After the Aztec Empire was conquered by the Spanish, the lake was drained and the Spanish built Mexico City on the ruins of Aztec City. 
At its apex, Tenochtitlan had a population of more than 200,000 people, with some estimates as high as 350,000. The temple complex in the middle of the island was the religious and political heart of the city-state. Most human sacrifices were performed at the top of the Templo Mayor. Tributes, usually captured enemy warriors, were laid on stone slabs. Priests used obsidian blades to slice through the diaphragm and split open the chest. After taking out the tribute's still-beating heart, priests decapitated the body, reduced it to a skull, and carved holes into the side to mount the skulls to wooden posts. The posts were mounted on racks called Tsongpantli, which held thousands of skulls. These were flanked by two towers built from skulls and mortar to form the Huei Tsongpantli, which stood in front of the Templo Mayor. Since 2015, more than 600 skulls have been unearthed at the site, according to Mexico's National Institute of Anthropology and History. Mexican authorities describe the tower as one of the country's most important archaeological discoveries in recent years. Anthropologists had previously expected to uncover the remains of male warriors at one of the Aztec Empire's holiest sites, but some were the skulls of women and children. This raises questions about human sacrifice in the Aztec Empire and who these women and children were. Archaeologist Raul Barrera, speaking to Reuters, said, Although we can't say how many of these individuals were warriors, perhaps some were captives destined for sacrificial ceremonies. We do know that they were all made sacred, turned into gifts for the gods or even personifications of deities themselves. Experts from the Norwegian Institute for Cultural Heritage Research found a complex Viking ship burial site at Jelastad in southeastern Norway. What makes the discovery even more interesting is the fact that the archaeological team did not need to dig down to find the site and study its many parts. According to a research article the team published in the journal Antiquity, the researchers used a giant ground-penetrating radar to analyze the ground deep under the surface of a field. This radar pulses an electromagnetic energy signal that can penetrate deep into soil. The radar antenna has a transmitter that sends out the signal and a receiver that receives the energy waves that bounce back. A processing unit then analyzes the physics of the bounce-back signal to create a clear image of the types of materials that are located under the ground. In this way, researchers have found that the undisturbed site contains many buildings and a longboat buried long ago as part of the funeral of a tribal leader to ensure safe passage into the afterlife. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.